Kalamazoo City officials aim to get a better idea of what's underground by looking from above through an aerial survey. News 8's Josh Sanchez shows us how technology is helping map out aquifers around the city without disturbing the land. You might have seen this helicopter fly around Kalamazoo County over the last few days. While the equipment attached to it may be unusual, the science behind all of this is crucial for water management. Sweeping over treetops and brush, a hexagonal antenna is creating a picture of rock several hundred feet under the surface using an electromagnetic current. It's part of a larger process to understand where aquifers are distributed and what type of earth lies between the water and the surface. That's the Z coil. It's sensitive to... On the ground, Jared Abraham with Aqua Geo Frameworks says the antenna stretches out the wire that produces the current. It's a larger and more mobile system compared to laying the wire on the surface. This is really, think of it as an Earth MRI. And that's what it is. We're, we're getting a 3D distribution of what's going on. Abraham says 10 readings that would have taken a day to collect are now compiled in a second. While there's existing data, it's limited. We know this is glacial geology. It's been mapped, it's been drilled, but we need to know as much information as possible to answer those sustainability and aquifer protection questions into the future. 3D images and findings are sent to the city after assessments and review. It's really exciting. Jean Talanda is the water program manager for the water resource division for the city of Kalamazoo. She says data for more than 1,400 acres across five locations will give planners the information they need ahead of drilling any test wells. We want the sweet spot, the, the area that's going to produce the, as much water as possible, and it will be be something that we will know we can tie into our existing well field or plan for the future. With about 2,000 people relying on a water system that goes beyond the city's borders, Talanda says getting it right is crucial. We have to make sure that every day we meet the demands of our public. So that means that we have to have always forethinking on the water supplies to make sure that we can always have that supply of high quality water available for the citizens. Monday evening should conclude its final flight and all of that detailed information will be compiled and sent over the city in about eight weeks. In Plainwell, Josh Sanchez, News 8.